In this problem, we're being asked to write an equation for a function that goes along with some real-world situation, and then to use that equation to actually figure out the answer to a problem. The situation here is that Rita has 19 cars available to rent, and then it says let C be the number of cars she would have left after renting R of them. So write an equation relating C to R. That's the first part. So if C is the number of cars she has left, so C is going to equal something. She's got 19 to start with, and then she rents some number we're going to call R of them. Whatever number that is, you're going to subtract it from 19 to get the number of cars that are left, and that's what C is supposed to be. So I would put C is 19 minus however many cars have been rented, so minus the rented cars. So that's our equation that relates C to R. So we can fill that in here, C equals 19 minus R. Now, you know, the reason we make equations in the first place is so that we can use them over and over again. We can use this equation any time a certain number of cars are rented to figure out how many cars are left. In this case, they're saying, imagine that, um, uh, nine cars were rented, how many cars are left? Well, we'd say C equals 19, and then we'd put the 9 in in place of the R, 19 minus 9, so C equals 10. And there are 10 cars left. So that is how to write a function and then evaluate it for a real-world situation.